Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how to do diamond painting. Now, I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I have been diamond painting since June, so that's almost six months. And I have had so many questions, and people still getting started don't really know what to do. So I thought I would do a very simple instruction video because diamond painting is very easy and it produces beautiful results. And you don't need all the tools and stuff that I have, at least not right away. Okay, you can literally right out of the box start diamond painting with any kit that you get. So in any kit that you get, you will get, of course, the canvas. This is a partial, okay, where a partial means you only diamond paint a certain section instead of full coverage. This one I bought from New Frog. So if you look, it has a clear cover that as you diamond paint, you pull back. Like let's say you were going to start up here. You would just pull back this little section and diamond paint here. The canvas is very, very sticky. That is how the diamonds stick to it. Okay. And if you've done any type of needlework or anything, it is just like following a pattern. Meaning, here is your key on the side. So number one corresponds to the symbol number one. This I like this on these because it will do the numbers. Two is two, three is three. But it's not always the case. Sometimes there is an actual symbol, but you just follow this. You also get in every kit, of course, the diamonds. And this has 13 colors. So before I do a diamond painting, I usually will count and make sure that there are 13 bags. And it does look like, yep, there are. Okay. The next thing that you get is a toolkit. The toolkit includes what you need to actually do the diamond painting. A tray. The pink wax, the sticky stuff. And a diamond painting pen. That is literally all that you need. So, how do you do this? First, you want to load your pen. If you see the tip, you can see that it has like a, there's an indentation, like it's hollow in there a little bit. You take the wax. It has a clear covering on it. You peel back a little bit. You put your pen in the wax. See how it's in there? Now I like to turn mine and then kind of flick it off. Now that is way too much on there. So all that I do is just pull that off. And you can see that there is wax inside of there. I like to also press it down just to make sure it really isn't sticking up because if it's not, if it's sticking up, it's going to come off on your diamonds. Okay. So we are going to, let's say we're going to start with number one. I'm going to peel back this. I'm actually going to try to get you in closer. Okay. And this will stay, but sometimes I will get like a little piece of tape or something and just put some tape to um, hold that back. See, it didn't stay. See how it flicked back up? Okay, you need your tray. Wow, I forgot I was that close. We are going to take the number one diamond packet. I'm going to pull you guys back out while I do this. Let's move this up there for a second. It says number one. And this one also has the DMC number, the color number, which is 154, which is like a dark purple. They all don't have that, but all of the bags will be labeled with the number so you know what goes to what, if that makes sense. 
Now, how I like to do it is I'm going to pour, I'm going to cut this open and I'm going to pour a little bit of the diamonds in there. Now, the rest of these, nine times out of ten, you will receive some little Ziploc bags in here. You can put the remainder of them in there and label it. I actually usually have one of these, but this is something that you don't need. But it's helpful for organizing. It's one of these. I got this from Amazon. And the numbered stickers, too. These flip up. Whoops. They flip up. I would dump the, the diamonds in there and make sure that this says one. You know, I would put one on that. So that's an option for organizing your diamonds. Okay. You take the tray and you shake it. And see how the diamonds now... This has a, not all of them have that opening on the end. You got to be careful they don't fall out. But when you shake the tray, the diamonds will line up. You see how they're lined up. And you have to make sure that when you pick up the diamond, you're picking it up on the right end. As in, this one is turned the right way. This one is upside down right here. You should be able to see like a glint or a shine that will tell you that that is the right side of the diamond. So literally all you do is you take your pen and you pick up a diamond. You see how I just dipped it on there? And then I'm going to get you in close. And then you just stick it. right on the square and all you do is you just keep going like that gonna pick up another one and I put it down it is that simple now I use a light pad when I diamond paint because it lets me see the symbols easier. You don't have to use a light pad, but I would highly recommend it. You can get an inexpensive one on Amazon for about $20. And it will, for me, it was a game changer because, and I have a video on opening the light pad and the difference. So I will try to remember to link that below. And I have a lot of other videos on diamond painting, obviously. Okay, so we're going to pretend that, all right, I just wanted to do those two diamonds and I'm done for the day. So you need to put the clear plastic cover back over it to protect the rest of the adhesive. And then you just put it away until the next time you're ready to diamond paint. It is that simple, people. It really isn't difficult. And... I mean, I can't wait to finish this one just because look at the beautiful colors on it and it's so much fun and it is actually very inexpensive compared to other crafts that I've done. I would just encourage you to try it if you like something like this and it's winds up being very shiny and glittery, which that is my favorite part. Let me show you one that I finished just recently. I finished this one. This was a partial. I love this one. I thought this turned out really, really good. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's it. I hope that helped people a little bit that did not really know how to either load the pen or just get started with a diamond painting kit. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.